Have you been keeping up with all the buzz around electric vehicles and their carbon emissions? And did you know there is another type of zero emission vehicle that's been flying under the radar? Introducing hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Those which are run on hydrogen and release nothing but good water vapor. So not only are you helping the planet, but you're also essentially driving around in a fancy humidifier. And today, we'll delve into the future with hydrogen cars and planes. So stay tuned till the very end. Now, if you're cruising down the highway, the wind blowing in your hair, and suddenly you need to accelerate to avoid getting rear-ended, that's where the hydrogen fuel cells struggle to keep up. They might be fine for maintaining a steady speed on a flat road, but when it comes to pushing your car to the limit, they can't quite keep up. And if you're looking to go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in a record time, you might want to stick with good old gasoline. But hey, who needs to go that fast anyway? Enjoy the journey, my friend, and let the hydrogen fuel cells do what they do best, provide backup power. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't that just an electric vehicle with a fancier name? Well, yes and no. Hydrogen cars do have some similarities to electric vehicles, but they also have some key differences that make them stand out. Both electric cars and fuel cell vehicles use electric motors to turn their wheels. But here's where things get interesting. While an electric car relies on a big heavy battery to power that motor, a fuel cell vehicle uses a fuel cell stack instead. What's that, you ask? Well, it's basically a fancy contraption that takes pure hydrogen and airborne oxygen, mixes them together, and creates electricity that powers the car's motor. And the best part? The only byproduct is water vapor. That's right, you're driving a car that literally pees water. Now, here's where things get a little confusing. Despite the fact that fuel cell vehicles are technically series hybrids, they are often referred to as fuel cell hybrid electric vehicles. Why? Bait me, but I guess it's just a catchy name. Plus, it's always more fun to say fuel cell hybrid electric vehicle than the series hybrid, right? Back to the very basics. Hydrogen, the lightest and most abundant element in the universe, is the undisputed star of the automotive industry's future. Its potential as a clean, efficient, and renewable source of energy is undeniable and the possibilities it opens up are nothing short of revolutionary. With hydrogen fuel cells, vehicles can only emit water, offering a zero-emission alternative to traditional fossil fuel-powered engines. Furthermore, scientists have this thing called hydrogen that they consider an energy carrier. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like something you'd put in the backpack to power up your gadgets. And now, let me introduce you to HFC Weed drivers. They're driving around in these fancy cars that run on hydrogen, and guess what? They get to refuel in hydrogen fueling stations. Now, you might be asking what that means. Well, fear not, because I've got your back. These fueling stations are just like the trusty bulb petrol stations we've been using for ages. You pull up, fill up, and you're good to go in about five minutes. Who would have thought that the future of fuel would be so similar to the past? But hey, if it means we can save the planet and make our cars run smoother, I bet. Those HFCV drivers are feeling pretty good driving around in their hydrogen-powered cars. I mean, they're practically driving around with a science experiment under their hood. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is driving an HFCV any different from a regular old EV? Well, my friend, let me tell you. It's basically the same deal. You still get to feel all the high and mighty, cruising around town in a vehicle that's not spewing out nasty emissions. Plus, the HFCV has this nifty little thing called regenerative braking which means it can recover some of the energy it loses when it slows down. Talk about being environmentally friendly. Now, I gotta be real with you here, the HFC we might not be breaking any land speed records anytime soon. But hey, who needs speed when you've got a smooth ride and the satisfaction of knowing you're doing your part to save the planet? And get this, there is no transmission. That's right, you don't have to worry about shifting gears or any of that complicated nonsense. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So there you have it, my friend. Electric cars and fuel cell vehicles may seem similar, but they're actually pretty different. But no matter which one you choose, you can feel good knowing that you're helping the environment by reducing your carbon footprint. And of course, you get to drive a car that pees water. And if you want to help save the planet and feel like a futuristic superhero while cruising down the highway, consider a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Now let me tell you something that will blow your socks off. Guess what? Future large-scale manufacturing of green hydrogen is going to save us in another way also. And how is this magic going to happen? By using renewable electrical energy like photovoltaic and wind power. That's right, we'll be able to produce hydrogen without any pesky carbon emissions getting in the way. 
Plus, it's a fantastic energy storage option, so we can use it whenever we need it. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty allured by this whole green hydrogen thing. It seems like we might be zooming around in hydrogen-powered planes in just a few years. That's right, initial experiments have shown that these bad boys can fly almost as fast as regular planes, carry over 100 passengers, and get this, emit nothing but water. Talk about eco-friendly, am I right? And get this, these planes could hit the market as early as 2035. That's only 12 years away. So not only will be soaring through the skies, but we'll be doing it in a way that's better for our planet. Hydrogen has the potential to completely eliminate CO2 emissions during flight, which is great news for our planet. And it's not just carbon dioxide emissions that are affected, but nitrogen oxides and particles too. How cool is that? But wait, there's more. If the combustion system is optimized, we can anticipate very low particle emissions and reduced oxides of nitrogen emissions when hydrogen is burned in a turbine engine. Sure, there is more water vapor created when hydrogen is used in the combustion process, but hey, we can deal with a little extra humidity, right? Now, before you start packing your bags for a flight powered by hydrogen, keep in mind that the whole climatological impact needs to be carefully considered. The emissions produced when using hydrogen as a thermal engine are different compared to drop-in fuel options, so we need to make sure we take all non-carbon dioxide emissions at flying altitudes into account. Apparently, we could soon be talking to the skies in planes that are powered by good old hydrogen. But before this, we need to address some technical difficulties first. We've got a few bumps in the road, or should I say clouds in the sky, that need to be ironed out before we can make this a commercial reality. Though experts are saying that we need to work on developing and testing various components to make hydrogen-powered planes a viable option, we need to mature the technology and show it off to the world before we can take it off with confidence. You see, hydrogen may have a lot of energy packed into each module, but when it's in gas form, it takes up a lot of space. And as we all know, space is a precious commodity when you're up in the air. So we need to be very precise and careful with how we handle this stuff. But hey, don't let these minor details get you down. The potential for hydrogen-powered flight is just too exciting to ignore. And who knows, maybe one day we'll look back on this and laugh about how we used to fly around in those old, fossil fuel guzzling planes. Now have you heard about the wacky airplane that took a short spin in Washington state? From the outside, it looked as normal as your average bird in the sky. But let me tell you, the bird had a few surprises up its wings. On the left side of the plane, you had your ordinary engine burning jet fuel like it was nobody's business. But on the right, my dear friend, things got a little bit spicy. Instead of a regular old motor, this plane had an electric motor powered by hydrogen. Yes, you heard that right, hydrogen. And get this, it was kept inside the plane, no pesky batteries to worry about. I don't know about you, but I'm already imagining myself sipping on a drink and enjoying the view, all while knowing that I'm not harming the environment. It's like we're living in the future or something. So let's all cross our fingers and hope that these hydrogen-powered planes take off, and cheers to the sustainable way of traveling. And if you really liked today's video, show us some love by hitting the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.